This video is on Form 10BD and Form 10BE which is required to be filed by charitable institutions, trusts and funds approved by the Income Tax Department. Section 80G of the Income Tax Act allows a deduction to the donors for the amount donated by them to the trusts, institutions and funds approved by the department. With effect from financial year 21-22, cross mechanism has been devised under the Income Tax Act by way of filing Form 10BD by the donees and issuing certificates in Form 10BE to the donors to enable the department to check the validity of the deduction claims under Section 80G made by any donor. These reporting entities are required to file statement of donations received in Form 10BD and issue certificates of donation to the donees in Form 10BE for the financial year 21-22 by 31st May 2022. In order to file these forms, a reporting entity should be registered on the e-filing portal with a valid username and password. The status of PAN should be active as per the PAN database. In case they wish to validate through digital signature certificates, it should have a valid DSC registered on the e-filing portal. Let us now look at one by one, how do we file Form 10BD and how do we generate certificates in Form 10BE. 10BD is a statement of particulars which is required to be filed by the reporting person under Section 80G and Section 351A. In order to file Form 10BD, the reporting person is required to log into the e-filing portal using its user ID and password. Post login, it can go on e-file tab and click on file income tax forms. In file income tax forms page, they are required to select the table persons not dependent on any source of income and then look for Form 10BD. On reaching Form 10BD page, they will find that the PAN number and the submission mode is auto-populated. The reporting person is required to select the filing type and the financial year and then click on continue button. Post clicking the continue button, they are required to provide details of the particulars which are required to be filed by the reporting person. Read the general instructions and then close the pop-up. Further, things that a person should know before filing Form 10BD will be displayed on the portal. You can read the instructions and then click on close. The main form 10BD will open. It will have three tables. The first table will be basic information which will contain the details of the PAN and the reporting person. Second table will contain the details of the donors and the donations. This will contain the name, address and further details of the donations. Third table will be the verification table. The reporting person can first click on basic information tab. In the basic information tab, the PAN and the reporting period, name and full address of the reporting person will be pre-filled. There is no requirement to fill any field. You can check the details and click on confirm button. Once the basic information tab will be confirmed, a green tick mark with the status completed will appear on the screen. The taxpayer can then click on details of the donors and donations. On details of donor and donation screen, first read the instructions. For reading the instructions for filing the CSV, click here. Now the reporting person can download the Excel file. It is a template to provide the details. The Excel file shall have 12 fields or columns out of which four fields or columns will have drop down menu. You are required to first give the serial number, pre-acknowledgement number if it is available. Kindly note the generation of pre-acknowledgement numbers for manual issue of Form 10BE is available from financial year 22-23. If you are filing Form 10BD for financial year 21-22, you should leave the field pre-acknowledgement number blank. Thereafter, you are required to provide the ID code. The ID code will be a drop-down menu where you can provide the identity number of the donor which has been provided to you. It could be a permanent account number, it could be Aadhaar number. Passport number, electors, photo ID card, driving license number, ration card number or the tax identification number. Thereafter, you are required to select the section code from the drop-down menu. It could be a donation under section 80G or section 351. You are required to then provide the unique registration in the date of issuance for the name of the donee, address, donation which will be a drop-down menu so you can select whether it is a donation to the corpus or a specific grant or others. Thereafter, you are required to provide the mode of receipt which can be cash, kind, electronic mode or others. 
and the amount of donation. Please note that the maximum number of rows that can be added in a CSV file is 25,000. To add more records, you need to file another Form 10BD. You are allowed to file Form 10BD multiple times for the same financial year. Then click on File, go to Save As and select CSV from the drop down in Save As Type and click Save. The filled in Excel file will be saved in the CSV format. The CSV format needs to be uploaded on the e-filing portal. Go back to the e-filing portal and go to the details of donors and donation screen in form 10BD. Here you are required to upload the CSV file and then click on save button. Details of donors and donation will have a green tick mark with the status completed. Now you are required to click on the tab verification to verify the form 10BD. On the verification page, fill in the details, father, mother's name and the capacity of the person verifying the form such as trustee, member, director, etc. Fill in the field place from where the form is being filed. Please note any incomplete information will throw an error and the system will not allow to save the form. After completing the verification details, you can click on the preview button. You can check the preview of the form and then click on proceed to e-verify. Select the appropriate method for e-verification. You can e-verify using digital signature certificate or e-verification code as is applicable to you. After e-verification, you will see the success message on the screen that the form has been submitted successfully. Now you have filed your form 10BD. You can download form 10BE after 24 hours from filing form 10BD. In order to download form 10BE, you are required to again Again, log into the e-filing portal and go to e-file tab. This time, you can click on view file forms. In order to generate the certificate of donation in Form 10BE, go to Form 10BD and download Form 10BE PDFs. On clicking download 10BE PDFs, a zip file will be downloaded containing individual 10BE PDFs for all the entries of donations submitted during the filing of Form 10BD. The certificates in Form 10BE PDFs are to be furnished by the donor organization to respective donors within stipulated time. After downloading Form 10BE PDFs, you can issue it to the donors. Filing of Form 10BD and issuing certificates to the donors in Form 10B is very easy. To know more,